So I, much like a lot of other people out there, spend way too much time sitting at a computer. For me, it's editing videos, but some people might be working all day at a computer. Some might be like gaming for hours and hours. So just like they say, you need to spend money on a good pair of shoes. Finding a decent office chair is equally important. So when the company Habata reached out and asked if I wanted to check out their super fancy, ultra customizable office chair, I thought, yeah, why not? Let's check it out. Today we're looking at the Hibata E3 ergonomic office chair. A huge thank you to Hibata for sending the chair out to me. This thing is pretty crazy. Definitely the most adjustable, customizable office chair I've ever owned. Now, as cool as this thing is, we're gonna talk about it. It's not perfect, and there is one particular thing about this chair that may be a deal breaker for me personally. This is that mesh style chair that's become pretty popular over the last couple of years. You're not sitting on like a traditional foam cushion. It's this stretched mesh material. And that might not sound like it's very comfortable, but it actually is. These, It's a very comfortable chair. But let's talk about all the different things it can do and ways you can adjust it. Number one, like pretty much all office chairs these days, you can adjust the height and you can lean back in it. Pretty standard, they all do that, nothing too special. Although I will say this chair leans back a crazy amount and we're gonna talk more about that here in a second. And like other chairs, you can lock the back in an upright position, but this one you can also lock it in different positions as you're leaning back. So if you don't want to lay all the way back down, you just want to lean back a little bit, you can lock the backrest in that position. All right, the armrests. The armrests can go up or down. They can go forwards or backwards. They can angle in towards the middle. And the armrest can even pivot up. It's kind of a weird thing. I don't know why you would want to do that, uh, but it's you know super cool that I can do it regardless. The seat can slide forwards and backwards. The chair has a lumbar support section that's down towards the bottom of the backrest, and it can be adjusted as well. It can slide up or down, and it can slide forwards or backwards. It also has a bit of a spring mechanism, so it, it always keeps constant pressure on your lumbar section. The backrest itself can also slide up or down in several different positions. The headrest, yes, it has a headrest, has tons of different ways you can fold it and push it and all kinds of things. <laughs> It can slide forwards or backwards. It can slide up or down, more of an angle up or down. And then the headrest itself can pivot forwards or backwards. All right, what else is there? Oh, and it also has leg rests. <laughs> yes, it has like a leg rest that slides out. It slides out, flips over, and you can put your legs on it. And leaning back with your legs on the leg rest, leaning all the way back, you are almost horizontal in this chair. I was showing my daughter how far you could lay back with the leg rests out, and she's like, oh my gosh, it looks like you're at the dentist. So if you can think of laying back, getting your teeth cleaned, that's kind of the range of motion you've got with this chair. It's made out of metal and plastic and that mesh material that the seats and the backrests are all made out of. And it just looks cool. I mean, bottom line, it's just a cool looking modern techno style chair. So those are all the cool things about it. Let's talk about the negatives. Number one, one issue, it's, it's really cool that it can do all the different adjustments and everything can be adjusted. But along with that comes a lot of wobble and wiggle in the chair. For example, this is not the chair I'm sitting in right now, but it's a very similar style chair. The armrest of this chair can go up or down and it can slide forwards and left and right and all of that. And that's super cool and gives you a ton of adjustment. But because of that, this armrest has some wobble in it. It's not a super sturdy, armrest. And that's one problem with this chair is everything just kind of wobbles a little bit. It feels solid. It doesn't feel like anything is going to break. And definitely tightening down all the screws helps with that. But just keep that in mind. Another issue is that some of the adjustable elements of the chair won't stay in the position that you adjust them in. Mainly the lumbar support. A lot of times when you raise it up and you just kind of lean on it and sit on it and lean back, eventually it will fall down. It'll slide back down to the very lowest position. Another problem is the backrest. 
once again, it can go up or down as well, but sometimes it's it goes up no problem, but getting it back down sometimes is a little difficult. Sometimes it does not want to go down and I really have to force it. And then finally, my biggest problem with this chair and could be a deal breaker for me personally is once again that lumbar support. The middle of the lumbar support section is that mesh material that the other cushions are made out of and that's fine. But the sides, they kind of look like little wings coming off the sides, are made of a type of leathery material. It's the same material that the leg rest is made out of. And it would be fine, but your clothing doesn't really slide on that material very well. It kind of grips onto your clothes. And because these things are folded in a little bit, and you can also adjust those too, I should have mentioned that earlier, you can adjust those but they're always kind of bent in a little bit, hugging your body, which you think would be good, but because your clothing doesn't slide, you'll be sitting in it and leaning back and slowly it's pulling your shirt up. <laughs> Annoyingly so. It, it will grab your shirt and keep pulling it up until your whole lower back is just bare to the world and there's really nothing you can do about it. Because it has the spring mechanism, it's always pushed into your back with a little bit of tension gripping onto you. And another issue is if you're a little, a little wide in the midsection, like unfortunately I am, it grips on even more and it's slightly uncomfortable. Now, positioning the lumbar support, adjusting it in a certain way can help. In fact, if you have it all the way down and all the way back, that is probably the best position, but it's still not great. So I just wish that either it didn't have any lumbar support or if the entire thing had been made out of that mesh material, similar to the headrest, that probably would have solved the problem. All right, so that was my review of the Hibata E3 ergonomic office chair. If you would like more information, check out the video description down below. I'll have a link to their website and their Amazon shop and definitely check it out. Even if this chair that I'm featuring today in the video isn't your cup of tea, check out some of their other chairs. They have a ton of different chairs and some that actually I kind of like better than the one they sent me. Habata, if you're watching, feel free to send me one of those other chairs for review. All right, guys, if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching. Sam with the Blind Life, I will see you next time.